on Jalen Brunson, man. His coach, Steve Kerr, had some high remarks for JB, man. He said he's a natural leader. He was asked about uh, some of the leadership on Team USA. He pointed to Brunson. He said because he's a point guard, he immediately comes to mind. He's the one who's leading the 1-2-3 USA chance. Some guys just, it just comes naturally to them. That was Steve Kerr's comments on Jalen Brunson. And uh, the team voted for who was the best player in training camp. Now, Jaron Jackson Jr. did win, but Cam Johnson put Jalen Brunson's hat in, in the ring. He said for his, his reason was because uh, it's the point guard. He leads the team, big communicator, and big connecting piece to the team. He's the real glue of the team. So those are some of the remarks for our guy, Jalen Brunson. Seems to be impressing in camp. Uh, in, in the first day of scrimmage, he had a nice four-point play to end it. We see Brunson out there th putting up dunks. But overall, just, just seems to be getting the team into a good groove and setting the tone, setting the pace for this team, which is going to be very important. You have a crowded field in this FIBA tournament. This USA team is going to be tested. You got a lot of talented teams. We talked about Team Canada. Obviously, you have, uh, you know, Lithuania. You have France, who's always going to be there in it to win it. And so a lot of teams, a lot of teams stacked up with NBA players. And so this team is going to get tested. We'll see how Brunson is able to lead the way. But overall, look, a lot of fans feel like, well, it's risky. You don't want them to get hurt. This, that, and the third. I get, I get all of that, but... I think this is a great thing for him. And if he's able to come out of this thing unscathed, I think this is this is a a role playing for Team USA that's going to continue continue to elevate his profile. Right? He came out in the second round of the draft. He goes to Dallas. He's he's the backup to Luka. It's all about Luka Doncic. He's the backup to Luka Doncic. Now he steps out of that shadow, comes to New York, continues to play at a very high level where he left off in Dallas, making a name for himself and into the league, taking the Knicks into the second round. Gentlemen sweep over the Cleveland Cavaliers, taking the Knicks into the second round. But all the all-star snubs, the all-NBA snubs, I think playing with Team USA is going to continue to elevate his profile around the league with the fans, with his peers, the players, and with the coaches as well. So I look at it as a good thing. Obviously, you hope that he comes out of it healthy and safe. But I think overall, this is a good move for him. And should he have the same year next season that he had last season, I think you're going to hear the name of Jalen Brunson in those all-star, in those all-NBA conversations because he's just been that good. He, he's just been that good. So, uh, once again, just, just a great job by him. And uh, he was mic'd up on the, after, the, I believe, the first scrimmage, Jalen Brunson was mic'd up. And here's what he had to say in terms of his commitment to Team USA and, and the process going into that. You don't really get a lot of opportunities like this. So, um, and obviously, I have to make sure everything is okay on the personal side. But um, everything worked out. You know, yeah, once I committed to something, I've been, I've been taught as a kid by my parents never to really, you know, quit or stop something short. If I'm committed, I gotta, I gotta be all in. I think for me, it's a no-brainer, first and foremost. Um, you get a chance. You don't really get a lot of opportunities like this. So um, I uh, obviously have yeah, to make sure everything was okay on the personal side. But um, everything worked out. You know, yeah, once I'm committed to something, I've been. I've been taught as a kid by my parents never to really, you know, quit or stop something short. If I'm committed, I gotta, I gotta be all in. I think for me. All right, shout out to Close Up 360 for that one. Their sound by it worked. So Brunson said, "Listen, man, once he commits to something, he sees it through, and that's a great character's trait, a great leadership trait. He always talks about." Uh, his parents, he bigs up his parents a lot. Very grounded kid. You got to like that about him, especially when he's playing here in New York. But that's leadership, man. That's the leadership that Steve Kerr's talked about. That's the leadership that um, that a lot of his teammates and Team USA have been talking about. And, and the leadership that his teammates with the Knicks have talked about. And another soundbite here, shout out to our guy Ian Begley who interviewed Jalen Brunson after, I believe, the first or second day of practice, was asking Jalen about uh, Julius Randle's comments about how much Jalen Brunson helped him throughout this season. 
And uh, this was this was Jalen Brunson's reaction to uh, to Julius Randle's comments. Shout out to our guy Ian Begley for the soundbite here. Here's here he is. Julius said the other day in New York that it felt like you really pushed him just the way you worked. Um, he's a worker, you're a worker, but he felt like just being around you pushed him. Did you notice that during the year? Um, I just the one thing I know is that Julius does work. So uh, that's a uh, that's a compliment coming from him. But I mean, he, he has that mindset. I mean, I may have helped a little bit, but that's that's really all him. Uh, he he's a worker. He comes in every day, does what he has to do, and uh, practices, and um, just make sure he gets all his work in. So uh, I mean, it's a. Uh, well, I think I hope in uh, bring a type of leadership to the team. And uh, Julius, has, Julius has always had that mindset of uh, being able to work hard. All right, that was Jalen Brunson. Always deflecting. You know, never wants to take too much credit for anything. He says, look, that's on Julius. That's on his work ethic. But it, it's, it was clear in terms of Randall's approach to the season for the most part last season and how Brunson has handled the spotlight, even in losses, taking accountability and really being a leader. And, and that, that's what it's all about, man. It's very important. To, to, it's, it's, it's a quality, it's a trait of his that is almost as big as the talent that he brings to the team. It's his leadership quality, man, as a point guard, as the head of the snake, as a leader of the team is just very important.